Hey, welcome back to another video for our C Sharp project on Hero Maker. I'm going to demonstrate in this video where we're going for the rest of the project. So I'm going to fill out the form and then click the uh, Create Hero and you will see a list of people that I've created. So you can see as I fill out the form, I'm choosing various different features. It really doesn't matter which features I'm picking right now. The important thing is when I get to the end and I select Create Hero, we will have a second form appear. And the second form is going to have a list of superheroes in this column, and when you select it, it will show the details in the next column. So you can see that I create Batman as my second superhero, and I will give him a few different options for his powers and preferences. Then I click the Create Hero button. Now you can see that I have two people in the list now. So I have Batman, and if I select him, you can see that I'm going to bring up a list of all the details. Superman. Now I also have the sorting ability. So let's, let's sort by alphabetical A to Z. And you can see that Batman is first and Superman is last. And then if I do Z to A, it reverses them. Also, if I were to add more, I could sort the entire list. The delete button will delete whoever's selected. So if I select Batman and choose delete, then I'm done with Batman. He's only gone. I can also come back to this form and choose reset form. And you can see it creates a new form for me. So that's where we're going. And I'm going to show you some of the programming challenges that come with creating a, an object that is uh, shared between two forms. So we have a list of heroes and we're going to have to create a static class. So we'll get started on that in the next video.